Today we're going to read Cats for Sale. It tells us Peddler, some monkeys, and their monkey business. This is told and illustrated by Esfair Zabakania. Once there was a peddler who sold cats, but he was not like an ordinary peddler carrying his wares on his back. He carried them on top of his head. First, he had his own checked cats, then a bunch of gray cats, and a bunch of brown cats, and a bunch of blue cats, and on the very top, a bunch of red cats. He walked up and down the street, holding himself very straight so as not to upset his cats. As he went along, he called, Cats! Cats for sale! 50 cents a cat! One morning, he couldn't sell any cats. He walked up the street, and he walked down the street calling, Cats! Cats for sale! 50 cents a cat! But nobody wanted any cats that morning. Nobody wanted even a red cat. He began to feel very hungry, but he had no money for lunch. I think I'll go for a walk in the country, he said. And he walked out of town slowly slowly so as not to upset his cat. He walked for a long time until he came to a great big tree. This is a nice place for a rest, thought he. And he sat down very slowly under the tree and leaned back little by little against the tree trunk so as not to disturb the cats on his head. Then he put his hand up to feel if they were straight. First, his own checked cats, then the gray cats, then the brown cats, then the blue cats, and the red cats at the very top. They were all there, so he went to sleep. He slept for a long time. When he woke up, he was refreshed and rested. But before standing up, he felt with his hand to make sure his cats were in the right place. All he felt was his own checked cat. Mm. He looked to the right of him, no cats. He looked to the left of him, no cats. He looked in the back of him, no cats. He looked behind the tree, no cats. Mm -hmm. Then he looked up into the tree and what do you think he saw? Mm -hmm. On every branch sat a monkey. On every monkey, there was a gray, or a brown, or a blue, or a red cat. The peddler looked at the monkeys. The monkeys looked at the peddler. He didn't know what to do. Finally, he spoke to them. You monkeys, you, he said, shaking a finger at them. You give me back my cats. But the monkeys only shook their finger back at him and said, This made the peddler angry, so he shook both his hands at them and he said, You monkeys, you! You give me back my cats! But the monkeys only shook both their hands back at him and said, <laughs> Now he felt quite angry. He stomped his foot and he said, You monkeys, you! You better give me back my cats! But the monkeys only stomped their feet back at him and said, By this time, the peddler was really very, very angry. He saw both his feet and he shouted, You monkeys, you! You get give me back my caps! But the monkeys only stomped both their feet back at him and said, At last, he became so angry that he pulled off his own cap, threw it on the ground, and began to walk away. But then, each monkey pulled off his cap. And all the gray cats, and all the brown cats, and all the blue cats, and all the red cats came flying down out of the tree. So the peddler picked up his cats and put them back on his head. First, his own checked cats, then the gray cats, then the brown cats, then the blue cats, and the red cats on the very top. And slowly, Slowly, he walked back to town, calling, Cats! Cats!
cat's for sale. 50 cents a cat. The end. I hope you enjoyed that story and have a wonderful day.